can imagine what would happen. You know, when I started thinking about this question that Jesus asked, it got me thinking about another question, which is, uh, what if? Like, what if we did this? <laughs> what if we really lived like this? Like, what if we offered what we have into the hands of God, like trusting that he's going to be better at it? What if we all got to be part of the story of bringing life and hope to people when they're in need? Like, what if? What if we, the church, all of us, began to live a little dangerous, came out from hiding behind the brush and allowed God to light a flame in us? What if? What if we began a revolution, didn't back down from persecution, got in the business of the distribution of love, grace, mercy, that our grips would loosen? What if? What if we knew what God said? Let his word wrap around our hearts and our head, more than words on a page collecting dust unread. Instead, we live like this word is alive and not dead. What if? What if our churches were thriving? People who release, no depriving, no striving, more than just surviving, but rising up to give, serve, and best care, guide, to set aside our pride, to decide to abide a place where people can find and where love is supplied and where grace will preside. Like, what if? What if you're 12, 14, 16, 20, but live with a boldness unlike many, possess valor, boldness, and faith let God write your story from the beginning. Hand him the pen and let him start pinning that all the some days I'll be are phony and fleeting. You are worthy now and your life has meaning. What if? What if we unleash compassion, flung our faith into action? and opened our hands, our homes, our wallets, our doors to the lonely, the outcast, the hurting, the poor. We gave to each other and didn't keep score, humbled ourselves so that someone could soar, proclaim the goodness of God like never before. What if? What if our what ifs were more than just words that we say? What if we didn't stray or sway or live our lives in shades of gray? What if instead today we pray, God, we're yours, have your way. I think he would do more than we could ask dream or imagine. Let me pray for us. God, I thank you. Thank you. Thank you that you ask us questions that invite us into your story. Thank you that we can look at you and know your heart is to move with compassion towards people and bring life and hope. And thank you that we get to be part of that. Thank you for inviting us into that. God, today, may we realize the privilege of stepping into your story instead of living our own. And may we surrender all that we are and all that we have to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you guys for having me tonight.